welcome back to my channel and welcome the newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button. It's free and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I would just like to mention that if the video is a little bit too fast for you, up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also right next to it, there's the CC uh, letters for closed caption. You can turn that on. And you can read all the stitch that I'm calling down here by pausing the video. Take notes will make it easier for you. Now, normally when I upload um, the videos, it takes about an hour for YouTube to uh, search all my words that I'm saying. So it can appear on the closed caption. So don't panic if you don't see right away the closed captions because the video has just been launched. It will show up in about a half an hour to an hour after the upload. I also would like to mention that if you have extra yarn, extra thread, and you'd like to help the women in need, we highly appreciate it and being very, very grateful for it. Thank you for the ones that already have helped and are still helping. If you'd like to donate right below the video, there's a little bag of dollar sign. You can donate whatever amount you'd like. Nobody's asking for millions. Anything helps. It adds up at the end. Uh, you can also go into the description box. My PayPal account is there. You can donate through there if you'd like also. Please always give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video. It does help the video to circulate and also uh, to be recognized worldwide. I gratefully appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's one way to help me out and to help to continue to create these beautiful pieces. Um, also share on your Facebook public. It costs nothing. It's Everything is free. There's no charge of anything. So please help out to grow the channel. I do have a Facebook group, a uh, private group. If you have a profile, you're more than welcome to uh, request to be a member. It's free, of course, and uh, we'll approve you. You must have a profile. Be careful with the links that you go into the groups that says cut and bit. These are fraud uh, scammers that go through your phones, your computers, and take every information of yours. Do not open up those links. There's a lot of hackers in the groups now. That's why I made sure that my group is private. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you from the start uh, being with me, and uh, thank you so much for the newcomers. It costs nothing to subscribe, so please do so. Thank you so much, everybody. Everything will be listed always in the description box for every pattern that I create, the sizes, the thread that I use, which is Portugal thread. They are 100% cotton thread, four ply, which is similar to Aunt Lydia, number three, which num number three Aunt Lydia is just a little bit thicker than my thread, not by much, but a little bit. I usually use a hook three or 3.5, a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors, of course. So thank you, everybody. Uh, any other questions, suggestions, please feel free to uh, comment. You can always get a hold of me if your intentions are to uh, give some thread or yarn away. There's my email below the description box. There's my Facebook page that you can follow also, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my TikTok. So there's so many ways you can message me. Thank you so much, everybody. I hug every single one of you and much blessings to all of you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So today we're going to create a uh, Christmas tree doily. I've been requested so many times and haven't gotten around to it, but the requests are more and more and more. So we are going to create today. So I'm going to use the reds, the multicolor red, green. For the story, I hope you're going to enjoy it. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video, make your comments, share. It helps the channel to grow. And I want to thank every single one of you for being part of this journey with me. And of course, welcome newcomers. And I can't be grateful enough to all of you. Thank you so much. And for your super chat, your super thanks, donations, and for the women that came through for the thread for the women in need. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to be using the green, red, and the multicolored, like I said. I'm going to use 2.75 hook, the uh, forest green, if you want to call it. 
red, red cherry. Okay, these are four plies, 100% cotton thread. Best option is Aunt Lydia number three for the perfect size of doily. This is a little bit thinner, so it becomes a little bit smaller. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is that magic circle. Or a chain six, if you cannot do the magic circle. So... I did one chain, I'm coming back in doing a single two chain. This equals a double crochet. We are going to do 12 more, well, 11 more with that single and two chain, total of 12 double crochets inside of the circle. I'll meet you at the end. So once you've done your 12, you're gonna come into the next, <coughs> excuse me, into the next space. Of course, you've closed in with the slip stitch. And you're going to pull your string to the back just so we won't leave a line there. Come back in in the same space. Do a single and chain two. Create another double crochet. So we're going to do two per space. Sorry about my dogs, but crazy cat Garfield likes to come and bother them every day. So we've done two double crochets per space. I'm going to close in on my second double crochet. Not the first one. We did the single and the two chain on the second one because we don't want a line going up then come into your next one and pull your string to the back so we've closed in the second double crochet with slip stitch stretch your thread a bit come into the next double crochet and pull your thread to the back. So you're always going to do this and I suggest you to do this on any pattern that you create doesn't matter what it is because this will help a lot of the pattern not to have that line of three chains going up. So you come back in the same space, create a single two chains on the neck, uh, same one, sorry another double crochet. Now next space, one double crochet. Next one, two together. Next one, one double crochet. So we're going to do a few rows like this. I don't know how many yet. Next one, two together. So a few more rows, I don't know, maybe eight or nine rows like this. We're always going to do two together. And so example. So we did a 12, we did two together on each space. Row two, row three, two together, one alone. Row four, two together, two alone. Row five, two together, three alone. And it's going to repeat like this. You could always advance the video and see how many rows I have created. So you can, and it's always best, of course, to look ahead of the video before you create anything because things can change. A mistake can be done and I don't edit my mistakes. I like to show you when I do them. And sometimes I do it in purpose to teach you guys different techniques and how to fix it without taking everything down. Okay, so I'm going to continue mine a few more rows. Like I said, you can advance to see how many rows I've done, but I'm mostly sure it's going to be between 8 to maybe 10 rows, okay? So don't forget, we are in row 3, row 3, 2 together, 1 alone. Row 4, 2 double crochets in the same space, and 2 separate, 1 per space. Then the next row, 2 together, 3 double crochets alone, next one. Two together, four, double crochets alone. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of my rows. Okay, you guys, we're going into row six. Because my pattern is starting to fold a little bit, that means I'm missing stitches. 
we don't want that and it's a good way for you to learn for other patterns that you're creating so we're going to on row six we're going to do the same of the two chains add one more together we're going to do the same thing as we did one alone now and two together on the next space just so we can have more stitches in there next space one alone next space two together and then the next row we continue um doing so we left off let's say row five we had three double crochets alone so the next row we'll have four double crochets alone we're just continuing from there but for now row six we're doing two together one alone two together and one alone we want to make sure that we don't start pulling too much on the pattern or having it flip-flop too much okay so it's gonna once this row is done now it's gonna lay out straight instead of making that little wave there okay so I'll meet you at the end as you can see it pretty much straightened flattened it out okay so next row we're gonna do so I've closed in my second double crochet I'm coming into the next one pulling the thread to the back coming in the same one doing a single and chain two one in the same space now we're going to continue to do four alone one two three and four next one two together we're going to do this all the way around now the next row will be doing only double crochets all the way around but i will uh, meet you at the end of this row which is row seven okay you guys so i've cut my thread i'm going to come in with the uh, multicolored green you can use just green or you can continue with the red on this row too Now I'm creating this as I go. I know that a lot of you is always ask me if I have the pattern. I don't write pattern as I don't read them. So I go as my mind tells me or my hands follow through my mind. And sometimes it never ends up what I have in mind to do. It's similar, but always something different. But the good thing is it always comes out pretty nice, at least from all the feedback that I get. So I'm happy with it. I'm just trying to hide my magic circle string here. Once you go through a few of them, then you're secure. Okay, so I'm going to come in with my multicolored green. You can start anywhere. In this row, we're just going to do a row of double crochets. So single, trying to hide my thread here. Two chain, coming into the next one. Double crochet into the next one. Double crochet. So this is row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're doing one double crochet per space and then I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come in with just the green. Okay, so row eight, one double crochet per space. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So now I'm coming in with my forest green. We're going to start to build the foundation of the Christmas tree, so come in anywhere. Doing a single. Try to hide my thread here. One and two. This would equal a double crochet. And now we're going to do one, two, three, four 
for space. I'm going to count one or skip. One, two, three, four. On my fifth one, I'm coming in with a double crochet. One, two, three, four chain. Skip one, two, three, four. On my fifth one, again. One, two, three, four. Skip one, two, three, four. On my fifth one, again. Now, if you think it's pulling too much, we don't want it to pull too much. So we'll go into the fourth instead of the fifth. Sorry about that, people, but I have to go with the pattern. One, two, three, on the fourth one. Okay, so we'll do the fourth one instead of the fifth. One, two, three, four chain. Skip one, two, three, on the fourth one. So it's a way to teach you also when you see that the pattern is pulling too much, that means you're too out and not as much chain. So I'd rather not add it the video and show you so you can learn when it starts pulling what is wrong because sometimes a lot of these questions come into place on the groups on the crochet groups one two three four one two three on my fourth one and i think especially for beginners it's very important for you guys to learn one two three four so you know obviously if it was pulling too much now it's just perfect if it started to pull too much, then your stitch would have been bending more this way, right? Your double crochet, because it wouldn't be enough chain, so it would be pulling all the time. And then by the end you go around, it would have curved like this into a hat. Okay, it would have been all folded like that. Now it's just going to be perfect, because even if it bends a bit, right? If it bends like this, as you can see, if it bends a bit... It doesn't matter because the next row is going to fix everything into place, okay? So we're going to continue to do that all the way around. Now, if we need to make an adjustment here at the end, we will because obviously I'm creating this as I'm growing. I don't have a sketch or I don't sketch it up with a design for me to, to do this. This is just out of my head and I'm just going with the flow, okay? Okay, you guys, so we're reaching the end and thank goodness... It just falls perfect into space. So sometimes these things just come out perfect. And sometimes we have to make a little adjustment. One, two, three. And on my fourth one. So I'm going to put it into my second chain that we did from the first um, double crochet. Right? Another suggestion for you. If you want to make this as a bigger doily... Then you just have to keep increasing in rows here. Now, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, seven rows that we had to do the adjustment one alone two together. And then here we, we had to adjust in order, um, you know, for it not to flip on us, right? So you would just repeat the same thing if it starts flipping. You would have to do two together, one alone, two together, and then go back to your normal um, you know, wherever you left off with three or four along, okay? So your doily becomes bigger. And also the same thing with the tree. You can always increase the length uh, you want of your Christmas tree. So very simple. Okay, I'm going to come back into the same space, and I'm going to do a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. And into the same space again, we're creating the Christmas tree already into uh, the same space of double crochets. So now we have two double crochets, one, two, three, and four. We're coming into the second one here. And again, create two double crochets in the same space. This is the tip of the Christmas tree. One, two, three, and four. And again, repeat two double crochets Per space so like I said if you want to increase bigger then you just have to add more rows here to expand bigger which is very simple you just have to follow the pattern the same way as we've been doing and then you know if it starts curving then you do 
two together, one alone, two together, one alone, exactly like we did here on row one, two, three, four, five, on row six. Okay, so we're going to continue to do this all the way to the end. I'll meet you at the end. This is row um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is row ten. Okay, everyone, so we pretty much closed in the slip stitch on the second chain. I'm going to come in again on the same space and create a single. This is just so we don't have that noticeable line going up. So into the same space again. So we're doing an increase, two together, and then next space, two together again. This is how we're going to start to widen up the Christmas tree. Chain three, two together, and two together again. Chain three, two double crochets together, And next space, two together again. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. So, as you can see, it's coming along pretty nice. Going into row 12. So back into the same space after you close down with a slip stitch, two chain, and one more in the same space. So we're doing the increase now on this one, two at the beginning and two on the last one. Next space, one alone, next space, one alone, and two on the last one also. So we have two, four, six, chain two into the next space and create the same thing again. Two together, next space, one alone, next space, one alone, and on the last one, two together. I'll meet you at the end. So we finished row 12 going to row 13. We're still doing the increase. So I'm coming back in as I close the slip stitch. I've done a single and chain two. One more in the same space. So we're doing increase. At this time we'll have eight double crochets. So next space, one along. Next space, one along. Next space, one alone. Next space, one alone. And the last one, two together. So we have two, four, six, eight. Now this time we're only going to do one chain space coming back in and doing the increase two together at the beginning and the other ones alone. So we'll have eight double crochets and two on the last double crochet. One chain space and again repeat the same process. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we finished row 13. Now, if you notice, it starts to pleat up a bit, right? Now, it's going to get straightened on the next row. So we finished building up the Christmas trees. Now, this row here has no increase at all. So single to chain. Next space. So we're going to continue to do the eight double crochets. The, um, this was the last row for the Christmas tree. So 
So eight double crochets, no increase. And where we have the space here of one chain, we're doing one double crochet. Okay. So next space, double crochet, next space, double crochet, and again. And after this, I'm cutting my thread and I'm going to come in with the red and green or red. I'll see as, as I go. Sometimes I change my mind. That's why I'm not going to make it clear yet if it's the mixed red and green or just red. Okay, so one inside of the one chain space and then eight double crochets. We're going to do this all the way around. We're closing up the Christmas tree. Okay, you guys, so we've come to the end of that. I didn't cut my thread because I've changed again plan. Like I said, you know, I, I go as I create and then I change ideas. Okay, so it's still flipping a bit. That is no problem because we're continuing. We have like two more rows left and we're done. Um, but once we um, uh, block it, I almost forgot the word, and this is how I block. I use and, uh, laundry softener. You can use any one. And I spray over it, and I stretch it well with my hands while it's damp on both sides and let it dry naturally in a surface flat. Or, like in my case, because I do a lot of tutorials, I don't have time to be wasting to let it dry. I need to film it and then to take pictures and so on. So I light iron right after, and as I'm ironing, I, you know, stretch it out with my hands and pass over it, and it just becomes really nice and flat and straight. Okay, so we're going to continue from here. And... So we close in with the slip stitch. I'm coming back into the same space with a single, next space, single. So we have two singles, three, four, five, six, seven singles. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven singles. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to skip one, two, three. On my fourth one, I'm going to do seven singles again. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And don't worry if it's not like falling into where the trees is. It's not meant to be. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to skip one, two, three. On my fourth one, I'm going to do my seven singles again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then, of course, after this, then I'm cutting my thread. One, two, three, four, five. I just wanted to throw something nice there. One, two, three, on my fourth one. And then you continue again with your loops by doing seven singles and then five chains. Skip three, go into your fourth. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I'm at the end. I guess I must be in my lucky day because it all ends up perfect with the um stitch one two that doesn't usually happen i mean it does time to time but not like especially when i'm changing uh, designs one two three four five god must be with me today thank you jesus one two three on my fourth obviously and we close it in so now i'm gonna cut my thread I'm going to tuck in my loose ends and I'm just going to tuck this one right in between my chain because we're doing double crochets in here. So that's going to cover it, protect it, and it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm just coming in with a smaller hook. 
in between the stitches in the chain and then we can uh, cut whatever's left over. Now it looks all messed up obviously but you'll see after on the video at the end and the pictures how nice and straight and flat once I block it how it's going to be. Okay so now I'm going to come in with my <clears throat> multicolored red green okay so we're going to come inside any five chain loop we're going to do a single you can come in just with the red you if you'd like and chain two. This would equal a double crochet. So two double crochets, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to skip one, two. I'm coming in my third one with a single next space single next space single so you skip the first one the second you come on your third one two three let me just check your one two and three okay and one more so now we have four singles come directly into the loop the five chain and create your seven double crochets skip one two on my third one one two three that I over skip one two three hold on a minute no I guess I was okay no I won't okay well, we skipped here so you're gonna do your um, four singles <clears throat> and then directly into the five chain which are seven double crochets okay one two three single 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 and single. Then directly into the next one. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we're on to the last row. And the last row is very simple, nothing to it. So We've closed in with the slip stitch. I'm going to come back in. Single. Now, you can do all the way around just singles. Or you can do um, peacots. So I've done my first single. Second. On my third one, I'm going to do one, two, three. Peacock with a sing, uh, slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Back in the same space, slip stitch. One, two, three, chain back in the same space, slip stitch. I love this uh, three, uh, three chain uh, peacock thing. Sort of like a peacock, right? It gives a nice, um, beautiful um 
dimension to the pattern gives it that nice charm to it, nice finishing. Okay, so I'm gonna come, so I'm gonna skip one, two, on my third one, I'm gonna um, do a single. And then again, I'm coming into my uh, first double crochet, single, next phase, single, next phase, on my third one, one, two, three, Actually, no, on my fourth one, did I say three here? One, two, three. No, it's on the fourth, which I was right. Okay, so single on the fourth, double crochet, and then one, two, three, into the same space, slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you could have used just simply green on this last row. I'm not, I'm just continuing with the same color. I think it's going to... Give it that nice little punch since we have the multicolored here. Next space, single, single, and the last single. I'm going to skip one, two on the third one, single, and then directly into the first double crochet. So I'm pretty much done with this. Two, three. and four. One, two, three chain, come back into the same one. Slip stitch, one, two, three, four, five, into the same one. Slip stitch, two, three chain, into the same one. Slip stitch, single, single, single. Skip one, two, on your third one, single, and then directly into the first, oops, I was going to do a double crochet, can you believe that? Because I have a lot of finishing um, in a lot of patterns like this, but double crochet at the end, and I guess I'm so used to it, I was going directly with a double crochet. Anyway, so, okay, so on your fourth one, again, so I will have the picture and the reveal shot and a little video after I block it and stretch it so you can see how nice and stiff and straight it will be at the end of the video. I want to thank every single one of you. I hope I did justice to this Christmas tree doily. I hope you guys create and enjoy it. Let me know what you think if this is what a lot of views have requested for if this is good enough for you guys i hope it is because it is my creation it is all thought as i'm going so i hope this worked out and any questions please feel free please give a thumbs up on the video share the video so we can grow more and it helps the channel and also to circulate sharing is caring also, please donate to the women in need for the people that haven't donated and are thinking about it. We humbly are very grateful to you for helping others. We can come together as one. If everybody can donate a little bit here and there, nobody's asking for millions. But, you know, there's a lot of views on the channel. If, you know, a dollar here, a dollar there, two dollars there. Believe me, adding it all up together, it does help these women out. Okay, I can't stress enough, and I'll keep doing it and ask for it until I can breathe, okay, because I'm all about helping people. I wish I had planning to just help without even asking you guys for the help, but unfortunately, I don't have to, you know, help everybody. Um, I do my best as it is already, you know, I spend quite a bit of money on threads just to bring out these patterns to you guys and i gain nothing from it okay so thank you so much everybody i send you so much love so much hugs for the ones that are already uh, subscribed to the channel below the description box uh, there is a link the draw for the winning for the christmas giveaway is uh, the link is below you can click there make sure that you go to that um video and give a thumbs up and make your comments so you can be registered
for the giveaway uh, present that I'm giving away uh, for Christmas, like I do every Christmas, okay? I send you much love, much hugs. Till next time, everyone. Bye-bye.